Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got more Pink Floyd for you today. We're doing Money. This is one of their more popular songs from Dark Side of the Moon. And uh, we've done two tracks from, from Pink Floyd thus far. We did Comfortably, yeah. Comfortably Numb at the Pulse concert. And then we did Time. Uh, both were really, really cool introductions to Pink yeah, Floyd. Very creative. Yes. And um, maybe we'll get back to that Pulse concert at some point because that was really, really cool with all the lights and everything. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, really neat. And maybe, I, you know, maybe we'll do one of the songs like Time or Money after doing the studio version, going back and checking out that Pulse concert with them. But yeah. you guys can let us know what you want to see. We always appreciate your recommendations. And this was one of them. You guys were jumping in those comments and suggesting money. So we appreciate all those, all the comments. And you guys were also saying that um, we, we didn't take in the lyrics enough on that last one. And um, I think, you know, part of that for, for me is that I take in the lyrics a little bit I think easier because I've listened to a lot of hip hop growing up, right? So the lyrics are something that I don't really have to focus on too much and I can hear them. And, you know, the theme of that song was, you know, essentially time is precious, right? Yes. And that, you know, a lot of guys, a lot of you guys in the comments were saying, you know, you, as you get older, you start to appreciate that song even more because time becomes more and more precious. So, you know, I think for me, I, I got the concept and I was, you know, hearing those lyrics. And I think in the video, I said that there wasn't a ton of lyrics and, to me that there wasn't a ton in that song. It's just what they said held a lot of weight, right? Yes. Yeah. So anyways, that's, that's you know, kind of the background on the lyric side of things because <laughs> with Pink Floyd, for me anyways, it's hard to take in this progressive rock sound because I'm not accustomed to that. Yeah, it's new for us. Right, right? yeah. So trying to hone in on all this experience that they're giving us, yeah. it's like, Whoa. <laughs> well, I think also because they have a lot of layers to their music too, yeah. right? So when you're trying to take all of that in on a first listen, it's hard to really listen to the all the all the instrumentation and you know how that's changing throughout the song, listening to the vocal, how that's changing throughout the song, listening to the solos and the different pieces yeah. that become more prevalent, plus the lyrics. Right? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. It's different from what we're accustomed to listening to, right? It's mm -hmm. like that, all that stuff doesn't happen in the world before we started the channel anyways. Yeah. hadn't happened in what we were accustomed accustomed to listening to, yeah. right? We were accustomed to, you know, picking up the intricate wordplay and all that stuff. But um, the, you know, a time signature change or, you know, like you said, the subtleties in a guitar solo and how you can change so much of the song and yeah. do it, all that, right? right so I'm just picking out like what unique instruments yeah. might be being used. Anyway, so we're doing a lyric video yes. today. So we're gonna have lyrics in front of us. Um, but, uh, you know, I think, we appreciate the suggestion, though, if Pink Floyd is one of those groups that has, holds a lot of weight in their lyrics, because I, I really do enjoy, you know, when, when artists are saying something within their yeah, lyrics, right? Yeah, that's a message. Rather than just, you know, singing and saying nothing, yeah. or speaking and saying nothing. Yeah. I like the music to go in line with the lyrics, right? That's what you would expect. Yeah, for sure. So, anyways, you ready to get it going? I'm ready. You're like, shut up, bro. I want to <laughs> listen to some Pink Floyd, well, man. Listen to money. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. back and forth, right? So right off the bat, they did this with the time one as well, with the clocks. Yes. Right? So that's really cool that they, yeah. uh, I don't think we've- With those signature sounds. In yeah. The I don't think out of all the people that we've done, got a little alfalfa here. Oh, thank you. Uh, out of all the groups that we've done, I don't think there's been anybody that's used sound effects no. like them. And we were only really three cool. tracks in, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's neat. Money! 
interrupt that flow man i just yeah, kept going it was so long it was so good but it was so long yeah there was multiple solos in there right like that were sounding completely different which yeah, i was I blown really away the back by half of it. i thought that was really cool yeah i was blown away i'm just blown away by by the track in general i think this might be yeah. my favorite one that we've heard by um now. Yeah, yeah, out of the too. three. I, I, and I know you guys would be like, what? Like over the other ones? But um, I love this song. It's amazing. Like the creativity in it, just from, you know, adding in some of the, the sound effects that we talked about in the beginning, then they yeah. use that throughout the it song as well. It me out too, how it's going back and yeah, forth. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and, um, well, it's good, you know, better than when we started the Reaction Channel and we were in our infancy days and didn't, yeah. weren't, you know, listening to it as as we could have in a lot of those songs and uh anyways so back to this i love it because you know it's it's i think i feel like they switched the, the tempo of this as we were going through yeah. it as well i feel like we picked up the speed or it something it does seem like it like got a little faster and slowed down it's hard to again. tell though because just the way they like smoothly put it in there in, the, in a transition yeah. 
Yeah. And yeah, it wasn't like a harsh transition or anything at all. No, it was just, just like gradually picked up. It's and, then... and such a groove. There's such a great groove to this. You know that mm-hmm. the the bass. I think that's uh, Roger Waters on the bass and sounds fantastic. So and then obviously nice. David Gilmour on the guitar solos, epic. Um, and uh, you know, f- funny. I, no, I wouldn't say funny, but you know, the way he's talking about money, he's kind of you know saying how important it is but it's, Learjet. <laughs> yeah but poking fun at it at the same time yeah. right and um how you know ridiculous we seem to be about money sometimes right yeah. um, buy me a football team exactly right uh, but uh, i love the song in general the creativity and i don't know what it is about the guitar solo specifically i know they're different i don't know what they're doing differently within them um you know some of it sounds a little more full Mm-hmm. Um, some of some of it sounds like it's been purposely brought in a little bit, so it's not you know uh, taking up so much space in the song. Yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, and the percussion sounds great too. They got the I don't know if they had a saxophone in there. Uh, I feel like they got some kind of like organ or some yeah, piano. Yeah, there's a lot. I was gonna I was gonna say before that like the instrumentation layers like there's a lot going on i can't really pick out what it all is but there's definitely more than just like a guitar drums no sure. yeah it's and there's not one there's like sections and segments to this song and which seems to be the case for pink floyd in general yeah, right it's almost like going through a transformational journey with different yeah elements. And I, <laughs> I said that in the first two that we've done it was like space was the first one yeah. time was the second one and this third one you know it's like it's that same component of or, or the way they organize the track it's not you know just your straight you know first chorus first chorus or yeah, yeah. solo or whatever it's you know, like it's very very creative and very unique yeah and they've got like solos all over the place in this and then the backing and all that stuff so great stuff i really enjoyed it what about you yeah i thought it was really cool like you said i think that i noticed that I mean, we're not done yet but <laughs> so far i've noticed that like you had mentioned that the guitar solo in there and the guitars in general like some of it sounds a lot fuller yeah in the song and like in the layering than some other of the other tracks that we've done before and then you can tell that it kind of gets brought in a little bit um which i thought was really different because i haven't really like noticed that before in a song I also like his vocal album. It's very clear. I mean, it helps that we have a lyric video, but I find that it, it stands out to me also in this one. Like, do you wow. like having lyric videos up? Yeah, well, I feel like it's helpful, but um, I feel like in the last one that we did, like, I don't know if it was just the song itself or like maybe it was just my headphones or whatever, but I was having a harder time picking out the lyrics like with the vocal. Whereas this time, I feel like it's easier for me to follow. Mm. Like, it's like, a little bit clearer. Okay. Um, but I just like the thing that I like the most about the song is just the creativity with it. Like, it's just so different. I mean, all of their songs have been different, but different than other things that we've listened to. They're in their own lane. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. All right, well, let's run it back a little bit and we'll finish it out. When we lead out of this guitar solo and back into some lyrics. So that was Pink Floyd, Money. Um, one other thing that I didn't mention that you guys were saying in those comments was that 
you know, Pink Floyd's kind of an experience, and with that experience, a lot of the time, people should be listening to the entire album. Obviously, that's not something that we do on the channel, but maybe after we've done some some of their bigger songs, we can uh, we can do that at some point. Yeah. Um, and I totally understand that aspect. You know, it's something I miss in today's music is that artists don't necessarily, or bands or groups, whatever, don't necessarily compose their music in a in a form, a uh, longer form album format of you know you're supposed to listen to this is my the intro to the track or this is the idea of the album and as you get further into the album it expresses it more and then we take you out of that journey going through all listening like the way that people want you to flow into one track to the next right yeah it's either you're going on a journey or it's telling a story or something like that and I think that's lacking significantly nowadays but that's what you guys were saying in those comments was that's kind of the essence of Pink Floyd with the album component so anyways I really enjoyed this song my favorite I think I would uh, conclude that, that to be the case. Um, so you really enjoyed it as well? Yeah, I liked it too. Like I said, the creativity to me is just cool. next level. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. If you did, hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought about this song. If this is one of your favorites as well. If you disagree with us, that's cool. <laughs> just keep it cool. And uh, let us know where you'd like us to go next with Pink Floyd. Uh, if maybe you want to do a live version of one of these songs that we've done. Or if there's some other stuff that we should check out first. Let us know in those comments. We always appreciate it, guys. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you on the journey that we've been going on with Pink Floyd and all these other artists. All the other sports stuff. All the comedians. And uh, you can hit that button and hopefully we see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.